I love titanium frames. I'm wearing a pair myself right now. Not only are they ultra lightweight and ultra durable, but they also give a cool minimalistic look if done right. And to exemplify that, I've brought together three of the best eyewear brands in the world, Cartier, Barton Pereira and Reykjavik Eyes, to show you just how good titanium glasses can be when they are done right. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. The hard part for me is knowing where to start, and I could start with any of them, but I'll start with the ones which are probably the most simplistic. And there's a lot of beauty in their simplicity, and that is Reykjavik Eyes. Reykjavik Eyes are our most popular eyewear brand, and it's really easy to see why. You see, these were the first glasses invented, again, I'm wearing a pair myself, made from just a single piece of metal. So there are no screws, no solder joints, and no springs. And as such, these are incredibly durable and flexible. And that flexibility means that if your glasses do take a little bit of an impact, they're gonna bend straight back into shape. And not only that, but Reykjavik Eyes glasses are the closest thing in feel to not wearing glasses at all. They're virtually weightless. Now this style here, I particularly love from the Reykjavik Eyes range. It's actually one of the older models. It's been around for a few years now. This one is called the Fuller. I just love the overall simplicity of this style combined with the added flair of the double bridge and the rounded shape. I think these make a style statement whilst not being too bold, not being too overpowering. They're just a dead easy everyday pair of glasses and I would recommend any of my customers to have a pair of Reykjavik eyes. Even if you have other glasses, they're fabulous to just put on and wear and forget that you're wearing them but still look cool at the same time. And the sheer simplicity of those Reykjavik eyes frames contrasts well against the other two pairs that I've got to show you today. Next up we've got Cartier. And Cartier are clearly a little bit more flamboyant in their styling. Their frames are titanium underneath, but they're actually platinum plated on top of that. And this platinum plating is done to twice the industry standard for thickness, so you're getting a lot of platinum for your money. And the one thing that I like about these more than the other two pairs is the pure metal arms. That platinum has a really nice feel to it. They feel elegant, they feel valuable, they feel precious to wear but they feel solid at the same time. There is a rigidity to these, which you don't quite get with the Reykjavik eyes frames. Now, personally, I prefer the feel overall of the Reykjavik eyes, but some people like that impression of wearing glasses. They like to feel like they are wearing an item on their face. It's almost like a bit of jewelry. And clearly, Cartier are jewelry inspired. You can think of these as jewelry for your eyes. In fact, every point on this frame that touches your skin is metal, whether it's the platinum arms or the titanium nose pads. And titanium nose pads are something that I, I can really get behind. They have an unmistakable feel to them. It's slightly cold against the skin, but it's a reassuring coldness and they feel really premium to wear. Now Cartier have finished this style off with a very thin plastic insert around their lens rim, which gives these glasses a bit more definition and a bit more style. Not only that, but there are some really nice details to the metal work. You have some filigree detail on the lugs here, which join the front to the arms. And whilst the Reykjavik eyes glasses might feel more comfortable, these feel more expensive. And finally, Barton Pereira are known internationally as one of the best eyewear manufacturers in the world. Certainly their reputation is a lot more well known than Reykjavik Eyes, for example. And though perhaps not as prestigious as Cartier, Barton Pereira is one of those brands that if you know, you know. If you're into glasses, Barton Pereira is the kind of brand that you'll love. These have arguably the same quality that you get in the Cartier pair, albeit they are gold plated rather than platinum plated. I'm gonna detach the sun clip and we'll come back to that shortly but these are a much more retro, much more vintage inspired style. This is what we call a shield shape, where it's squared off at the top, but then more rounded at the bottom. I do really like the aesthetics of this frame. Again, it's more of a vintage kind of look. It's not that modern, but it's a quintessential classic kind of style. They feel very, very balanced and weighted on the face, perhaps more so than the other two pairs. Whereas the Cartier were a bit more front weighted because the metal tips didn't quite give the purchase to hold back the added weight of the front, bearing in mind that is platinum, or the Reykjavik eyes, which just feel weightless. These are a really interesting balance between the two. It's just like you can imagine a Japanese samurai sword being perfectly weighted and balanced by the craftsman who created it. These Japanese made frames feel perfectly balanced and weighted on the face. It's very difficult to convey that to you in a video, how the glasses feel, but suffice it to say that they feel really, really nice. Barton Pereira, after all, are a luxury eyewear brand and they epitomize eyewear luxury, in my opinion. You have 
even more filigree detail than you see on the Cartiers on these frames because it continues not just through the look where there's a beautiful patterning but also down the temples as well and I really 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 like how that temple design cuts into the acetate end tips it's really really well done and I've actually not seen it done in that way before it's a really nice finish on these frames and that characterizes the unmistakable attention to detail that you get from Bart and Pereira and then of course the final cherry on the icing on the cake is this awesome sun clip. I'd kind of be tempted to wear these all the time. The sun clip is just that good. I love how it adds the extra brow bar, as most sun clips do, to be fair. But this frame just suits the sun clip in such a perfect way. I really, really love not just the style of the clip as well, but also this really comfortable, nice blue tint. It's very relaxing and soothing. And it makes the Barton Prayer Repair a really difficult proposition to argue against. The Reykjavik eyes are great as an everyday pair of glasses. The Cartier are beautiful as a pair of dressed up eyewear. But the Bart and Pereira are probably the most versatile. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, and then you can add the sun clip on top. It's like, what more could you want from a pair of glasses? So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration of three of the best titanium eyewear brands in the world, full stop. I think it's really interesting how, though they're all designed and made from the same materials, they all give completely different impressions. Yes, they might all be minimalistic, but you have different personalities and different characters from each frame. Your glasses should always match your personality, and that's why our philosophy is eyewear for the individual. You are an individual. Which one matches your unique personality is up for you to decide. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting and unique eyewear. I love showcasing it for you, so I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.